Hi everyone, three quick and easy balloon experiments today. First one is how to make a fireproof balloon. All you need is a balloon, some water and a candle. So let's go. The first thing you need to do is put some water in your balloon. So put a little bit of water in before you've blown it up. Don't need too much. Then blow up your balloon. Just be careful you don't get the water everywhere. Then tie your balloon. When you've lit your candle, lower your balloon closer to the flame as close as you dare. The flame heats the latex, which normally makes it burst straight away. But the water inside the balloon is cooling that latex down. Just be careful because as soon as the water inside gets hot, it will make the balloon burst. If you look really carefully at the bottom of your balloon, you will see some black. That is soot. It's actually made from carbon, um, the stuff that accumulates at the bottom. So give it a go and see how close you'll dare go to your flame. Next, we are going to get this balloon inside this jar. All you need is a jar. You need a balloon that is slightly too big to fit inside your jar. You need some kitchen roll folded up and you also need something to set fire to your kitchen roll as well. Be very careful with this because it does involve flames. Please make sure your parents do this bit. So set fire to your kitchen roll. I tend to use kitchen roll for this rather than paper just because it sets fire quicker. And once, it, once there is a flame, then drop that into your jar. As soon as that flame dies down slightly so the flame doesn't touch the balloon, you can put your balloon on top. Go, hold your balloon over the top. The flame will go out as soon as the fire has used all of that oxygen that is inside that jar. Hot air takes up more space than cooler air, so it expands and leaves the jar. But when the air cools down, the balloon is blocking any new air coming into the jar, so there is a difference in air pressure. That means the balloon gets sucked in. So if you look carefully, the balloon is now inside your jar. Have a go, but please make sure your parents are involved in this one. Next, we are going to get this skewer through this balloon. So when you've blown up your balloon, let out about a third of the air. So it's not quite so full. And what you need to do is find the darker section of the latex at either end. And then, with a sharp skewer, try and push it through that section. So we'll start at the bottom where you've just tied it. And give it a wiggle. So a balloon is made up of a polymer which has long strands of molecules which when you blow it up, they get really stretched and really strained. But at either end of your balloon, the top and the bottom, they aren't so stretched so you can push them apart with your skewer. And your skewer blocks the hole which makes it uh, not go down. So when you found the darker bit at the other end, give it a little wiggle and see if you can get it through the end of that balloon too. You do need to give this a wiggle because it does take a little bit of getting used to. And then, there you go. Your skewer is through your balloon. Give this one a go and amaze your family and friends with it.